this video I'll talk about how to measure the voltage ratio for transformers connected as delta Y with the Y having the neutral not accessible so you cannot measure phase phase voltage on the Y side so what we can do we can do single phase ratio so one proposal is you can do single phase ratio then there's a formula how to convert from single phase to three phase ratio. So if we look at the sketch to the right, so you have the delta and you have the y. So the y, the neutral is not accessible. So you cannot measure phase voltage on the y side. You can only do a line to line. So the general formula for voltage ratio is the phase voltage of the primary side divided by the phase voltage of the secondary side. Because you want to make sure so, because we have a delta and we have a y. So for the delta, the phase voltage is the same as the line to line. So when you are dealing with the y, you have to use the phase voltage. Or you can use line to line divided by square root of 3. Because if you don't do that, you're going to be off by a a factor of square root of 3. So if the neutral is not accessible, you cannot measure phase voltage of the Y winding. So let's establish some formulas here. So if we look at this sketch here, the primary voltage is just from Ohm's law is the primary impedance times the primary current. And for the secondary, if, let's assume, the, new, the neutral was accessible, the secondary voltage is just the secondary impedance times the second, secondary current. So three-phase voltage ratio would be just the primary voltage divided by secondary voltage. But since we cannot access the neutral on the Y side, we cannot measure phase voltage. So another way of performing voltage ratio, we can do single phase, ra uh, single phase voltage ratio. So the delta, we can still measure the primary phase voltage. But for the secondary, which is connected as a Y with the neutral not accessible, we can short the terminals that we're not going to connect the test lead. So then we're going to measure voltage, we're going to call it V from here to here. Then we're going to, then we're going to have total impedance. So the shorted coils are in parallel. So if you have two impedances in parallel, the equivalent is just one half of one of them. So then the total impedance is just one half of the secondary impedance plus one times the secondary impedance which is 1.5 times the secondary impedance then from Ohm's law the voltage is just the total impedance times the secondary current which is 1.5 times the secondary uh, impedance times the secondary current then the single phase ratio from the previous slide is uh, primary voltage divided by secondary voltage. So primary voltage we can measure. The secondary voltage in this case is just this uh, quantity here, 1.5 times the secondary impedance times the secondary current. If we rearrange uh, secondary impedance times the secondary current is just secondary voltage. So we get the primary voltage divided by 1.5 times the secondary voltage. So the single phase voltage ratio is 1 divided one by 1.5 times the primary divided by the secondary, which is 1, one divided by 1.5 times so this here is just a three-phase voltage ratio. So what, what we see from here is 
the ratio or the voltage ratio value obtained with three phase method is 1.5 times the ratio value with single phase. So basically, if you cannot access the neutral of the wire winding, so one way you can measure the voltage ratio, you can do single phase. So you apply voltage to just one winding on the delta side, then to one winding on the Y side with the non-tested uh, windings, their terminals are shorted. Then to get the value you should expect if you were doing a three-phase voltage ratio, you just take 1.5 times whatever voltage ratio value obtained from the single phase uh, voltage ratio. Thank you and have a great day.